Hi, how are you doing? Welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to review a question a friend asked me which was what do you think about educating children below the age of 10 about sex? Sex education he meant and I was like mm, mm. This is a very dicey one for me because this is a very delicate topic. So what did I do? I decided to take the same question and threw it out onto so many people. In the course of this controversy of a question that I threw out to several other people, it became like a thug of war. Some people said, no, it is not okay to teach children below the age of 10 about sex education. And some people say, yes, it is necessary. In fact, I was among the few of them that said, yes, Yes, it is necessary and in this video you will hear my own point don't forget that in this video we have the timestamp line below this video in case it seems too long for you because it's gonna be long but if it's too much use the timeline below to skip what I don't even think you need to skip what anything anyway this is a huge topic so it's gonna come in different episodes so this is gonna be like episode one of this topic because i want to really understand more i want to know more don't forget that what in whatever information i put here whatever i say here is simply my own opinion it doesn't have to be right it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be the same with what you think but we have the comment section for you to leave your own thoughts that way you will learn i will learn hey parents do you have kids that are already teenagers let me know how did you handle about teaching them sex education please you are the ones we need in this video because you will teach us more about whether you talk about it or whether you didn't talk about it what was the effect what was the outcome let us know we are learning together okay let's get right into it because when i was growing up i wasn't really taught about sex education sex education in our own time was something like reproductive organ and actually this wasn't in junior primary this was actually in senior primary but even in that junior primary we already know what sex is first of all i like to give you a breakdown of what you would be expecting to hear in this video on here you will get to know the definition of sex education that will at least open our eyes to know why the sex education thing came to be in school and two who is it meant for three at what age do we need to educate young ones about sex like sex education you know that's what i mean and four we need to talk about what are we going to talk about when talking about sex education and so many much more that may come up in the light of this topic so stick with me let's crack on so, like i previously said when i was young what we were taught was reproductive organ and this by the way was in senior primary in junior primary they really never talked about it so but today the trends of education have changed they have introduced sex education in primary schools especially in this country but one thing i want you to know that even when they introduced it i think that they do they did not make it compulsory they still have to inquire from parents if they want their children to be part of the sex education or not i think that's what goes on if you're a parent please let me know at the comment section if what i said is true or not at least this is what is happening in england i don't know the trend in africa right now what's happening if you are listening to me from africa please let us know what's going on about this topic in schools in africa so without too much talking let me just explain the two definitions of um sex education that i got from collins dictionary and oxford lexico dictionary i'm gonna read it out Collins Dictionary defines sex education as an education in school on the subject of sexual activity and sexual relationships. While Oxford Lexical Dictionary defines sex education as an education that promotes an understanding of sexual intercourse and reproduction provided in school both of these definitions is actually pointing out that this is supposed to be part of education in school but 
I really disagree with this because like what about it being part of something that parents do for their children as well why will it be only in school i do understand like i said before that before they go on to offer this kind of education to young ones especially in this country which is england they prompt or they inquire from the parents to make sure that they want their children to be part of it and i can't remember maybe they actually require the parents to be involved during these lessons to be there so that the parent would know exactly what they are saying what they are talking about i don't know if you are a parent please do me a favor and let's know at the comment section if they allow parents to be present while they are offering this kind of education otherwise i still think that before school brings an in there is nothing wrong with parents coming up first with it to educate their children and that leads me to the next point at what age do we start educating our children about sex education mm, this is a tough form i think that sex edu education should happen as soon as possible especially depending on their maturity level and curiosity level of the children and this can only be found out by parents if they are really really observant because i know due to busy schedule in the western world you know even the hustle generally all over the world parents have kind of um slacked a bit in their responsibility of looking or finding out what their kids are doing not their fault because they need to keep up with the hustle but I still believe that even in the course of the hustle, if you come back home, the little time you spend with them, if you really do chat with them, if you are really close to them, you will still know the different traits of their children. This led me to say that children, if you have like four kids, all of them have different traits they are not all the same some of them are smart some of them are not some of them are casanova even at that young age people don't believe this but you know you have boy childs when you when you give birth to them you didn't teach them anything about chasing women but when they see women they love them this is their natural trait you know then some of them naturally knows beauty you, know, you don't have to teach them that some of them are already way too smart and too curious and some of them are not so there are different traits and this traits is what you will leverage and their maturity level is what you will leverage to know when to introduce this sex education but I think it's not something to overlook you have to do that as soon as possible and when we were arguing about this somebody said that no it is not good to talk to them about sex education because children of these days they are so curious if you bring something to their not to their to their attention they will explore more to know more and i was like really did she not grow up come on baby let me just tell you when we were growing up we were way too curious as well the only difference i may actually add up in this is that their one may be so curious because there is internet internet is making everything ridiculously very very outrageous and this actually is the reason why you need to step up and talk about it as soon as possible even before school does it because you give birth to this child and you understand all of them and their different traits in fact if you have a child that is too smart and the one that is not too smart i bet you that the one that is too smart if knows this and they are very close of course they are siblings will teach the other one so this is the reason why you need to find a comfortable place it is a hard thing to do it's a hard topic to say to children but you need to find a, 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 a find a way to do it in fact i always say ask for the grace of god because you know parenting there is no one formula to parenting there is no one singular form formula to parenting especially kids of these days i haven't had mine but when i see people other people's children i have been around kids i know it is a hard work and now i've already started praying for god to help me in raising because raising kids now is no longer by your might or by your power it is by the grace of god and by the wisdom of god and this same grace is what you need to ask to guide you in dishing out this topic also 
we are lacking in this capability because our parents didn't find it necessary to do it or they were looking at us like we are kids so we don't know anything but we see what adults do some people see what their parents do so they try to practice that so when they see it and they see what adults do and they see what their parents do and you didn't explain things to them so who told you that they wouldn't go further to explore so this is where the game is changing so if our generation summon the courage that our parents never had to teach our young ones this on time then it will become a natural thing as they grow older to inculcate that in their own lifestyle and make it easier because like our parents do mend us to see everything like is a big deal is sin sex is not it's not sin you know it is a natural gift the only thing is that there is a maturity stage to it that's it it's not a it's not a it is a gift from god it's a natural gift but there's a natural natural um uh, maturity to it that when you do it at that time when you are matured you will enjoy it now let me give you example for those thinking that kids below the age of 10 are young when i was growing up at the time i was let's say in you know like primary two at this age i was less than eight i do know that some of my mates do make out at the back of the class you did not hear you from me but this is so true at this age there was no breasts we don't even have anything but it's because of what they see what adults do they see what their parents do and what guess what you didn't explain things to them so they need to explore they need to understand what you are doing you see this is the reason why i said please if they are that smart please bring it on the table another example is this lady I met the daughter is quite way too smart and as at that time she was just six so there was a discussion going on around and she sees the opportunity to call her daughter and say come here come here come here you know the way you jump up and down if one uncle comes to offer your biscuit say no and if they try to force you to take that biscuit or perhaps this uncle will say come and sit on my last beautiful girl i like you do not do that if the uncle forces you any of that kick his pimp him and run away we were all laughing but this woman guess what has issued her own style of sex education and you know what this girl picked it little 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 when this thing is was stick in her head you know she knows that she doesn't have to just go to any uncle to go and sit on his lap because he might not he, he might take advantage of her to do something bad or offering her biscuit i have to hold my longer throat i don't have to be collecting things randomly from strangers you know this lady could choose not to seize that opportunity to talk to her daughter and say nothing things saying that oh i don't want to put things in her head but guess what she have lost the opportunity and this kid may actually encounter that situation which is which often happens and she would not know what to do but letting her know understanding that my daughter is smart and she dished it out immediately like that it sticks and this girl really practiced this you dare not catch her go near any uncle talking or trying to collect something she must come back to her mom to say it or to ask her hey this look at what this uncle said look at what that uncle said and this is the strategy she uses for all of her kids and i really love that also trying to avoid saying that you don't want to put things in their head that uh, to raise their curiosity level <laughs> sorry so many things is gonna be put in their head in school or it's already put in the head these kids there is absolutely nothing they don't hear in school there is absolutely nothing they don't talk about in school so for me instead of you waiting till school raises this topic before you talk about it to your child i think it's better to leverage the time that you can to speak to them even though in this country they allow parents to know when they want to have this education i've also heard in the candace show where kids 
were being talked that it's okay for them to you know change their gender or whatever without the consent of their parents and they were educating her that it's okay for for her to change from what she is and all that and for some reason they told her that she doesn't necessarily have to tell her parents about this discussion i'll put a link to candace show so you will go watch it by yourself so this will be an eye opener for you to know that if you start waiting for age or thinking in your head that they don't know a lot of things is already being put in their head already in school and apart from this country where there is a little bit of management for kids there are so many so many other parts of the world where the teachers encourage the kids not to tell their parents what is being told to them in school i have i have i have had a whole lot during the pandemic when everyone education is going on online things that teachers have told students and told them not to tell their parents again this is not in this country because there is a lot of control in this country but you never know you never know this is why i said it is better for you to leverage the opportunity you have and talk to your child the things that you need to talk to them about because what you know that is the first thing they hear sticks for some reason so be the first to tell it to them in a very comfortable way in a way that you know that they will understand it better so when they now hear it in school it wouldn't be like a strange topic and if there is any difference from what you told them they will then actually comfortably say oh you said this but this is not what they told us and then you will clarify you will have the opportunity to clarify you are waiting until school raises the topic before and they come home to talk about it to you before you talk to them about it what if they forget what if they actually decide not to tell you you know the mindset of kids changes and we were like that when we were growing up so how are you so sure what is gonna be their next reaction so this is the reason why you don't have to leave things to to chances this is my take it doesn't have to be your own opinion let me know what you think about this one before we go on another reason why i said it is very important for you to talk to them about it as soon as possible is because during our own times it is very easy for us not to take things to extreme because there is no phone we don't have phones we don't have internet but in these days and time due to busy schedule the hustle is getting realer and realer and realer each day parents had to give their children phone be children at the age of eight or, 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 or that phone so that they will be able to keep in touch while they are away working and do you know what is going on on that phone how much track are you putting in the in that phone but the most one is do you not know you did not hear it from me but this is true that come closer parents just 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 come closer there is this group they they actually they actually persuade i don't know how they get into these kids phones and they start manipulating them into taking pictures of their willy and you know to send to them i have no idea what they do with these pictures and they do this and only god knows the rest of the things they tell these kids to do all with this phone and they will threaten them that if they tell their parents they are gonna hurt their parents that they know their address they know everything about them and these kids will be quiet so how do you know how do you know that your child haven't experienced it if you if you didn't educate your child early to be able to know that there read this kind of predators out there that I need to be aware of so once they encounter these groups they will quickly report to you and you will quickly report to the authority because it is here in this england these people and the authority tracks children's phone they track children's phone and they try to catch up with these people but before the authority catches up on them don't let your child to be a victim before they are fished out so the way you would do this is by educating your child about sex education on time let them be aware don't say that you are raising their 
curiosity. This is a precarious time we are living in. There is every child is being exposed to so much more, more than you can think or imagine. So you need to step up in your parenting game, man. It is not an easy hurdle. You need to step up. Once you choose to be a parent, please step up in your game. Let them know things that will protect their mind, their head, and their whole body for the future so that they will grow up to become happy adults. So these people, they send pornos, they send, they make them to take pictures of their small willies and send to them. Of course, you know what willy is, you know, and send to them. So you can imagine when a child is exposed to this at the age of eight. Tell me by yourself what you think will happen if there is no control and this child grows up with this. They are young, but their brain is already being messed with big time. So this leads me to the next point. What are we going to talk about when talking about sex education with these young ones? To me, because we are living in a precarious time, like I said previously, I think it is very, very okay to bring everything bare on the table. Leave everything bare on the table. Do not cherry pick, but you can cherry pick the time at which at the time at which you speak out to them about it, depending on their maturity and curiosity level. So it all depends exactly how you talk about it. But then make sure you tell them about everything. Talk to them about menstruation, feelings, empathy, um, love, respect, um, changes that they will encounter, you know, everything. I, I think you need to leave it bare on the table. Using myself as an example, when I was growing up, this wasn't taught to me. I didn't know what menstruation is, nor puberty, nor what thing. I was just pure novice. And when I was in secondary school, it was the first time I saw my menstruation. It was pure mess. When I said mess, it was because like, you know, some stains were coming out. You know what the stains are. And I was thinking I had an injury and I was busy looking for where this injury was but i couldn't find it i was crying showing everybody every damn person that is okay to listen to me i was showing thankfully it was only girls school until my friend came out and she said no it is not an injury she just took me away from all of the kids that were as confused as I was helping me to look for the injury, she took me away from them and she explained to me, oh, she had already started seeing hers. She took me to one of our teachers who helped me to get a napkin and showed me how to put things there. So, so many other girls can be prevented from having this same experience. So also the story of the porno things on the phone that I talked about. So many young boys and young girls can or could be prevented from all these uh, predators going out there sending pornographies on their phone teaching them things that they don't have to know like when they were young like because if they expose them to porno when they are so young and they made them understand that it's good for them and you don't know about it and they will keep messing their head from that age by the time they grow older they must have messed their body up and be the guidance that god give them to you to be their guidance use wisdom reprimand them be that friend that reprimands them with this hand and bring them back with this hand in as much as you are being friendly be firm as well so that they will know that you are the parent but not there to harm them be the leader and not them the leader okay this is it for this episode and like i said this is a huge huge topic a huge huge, huge other things is going to come out from it especially following the comment section but i would really love to know mothers who already have seen a child what is your advice to us following this topic this is my own thought this is my own view. What do you think? What is your own opinion? Please leave it at the comment section. And please don't forget to like, click that like button, click the subscribe button, and click the notification button. And as you know, please share this video, share, 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 so that 
the algorithm will favor me you know what i mean and share my video to larger audience across the world i need you and we need one another to be better in this precarious time thank you so much thank you for watching see you next time bye bye bye